In this lesson, we're going to be looking at counter time, specifically in how to use it with your footwork and blade work. Before we do that, though, I'd like to take a moment to explain exactly what counter time is and why you should be including it in your repertoire of actions when fencing. Counter time is essentially where you're trying to provoke your opponent to counterattack. So they don't have right of way, you're just trying to force them into a situation in which they are trying to take the easy way of getting a touch, just by extending their arm, twisting, displacing, or doing a stop it. So it is a maneuver in which you're trying to provoke an action that just guarantees your own right of way. So if I'm being very lazy with my footwork, perhaps Jason's is going to go for the easy touch here, I'm just moving forward, he tries to counter and I have to finish. I never lost right of way, he thinks I am not ready to finish, and boom, I can make an attack. This can be employed using a direct attack, it can be used with a feint, it doesn't really matter, but so long as you are provoking your opponent into a counterattack. So being lazy, he tries to counterattack, and you just finish, you get the point. So the other way of applying this is with blade work. So if I'm trying to attack Isaac and I know he has very, very good timing, he's pretty good with a counterattack, I'm going to be aware of that. So instead of investing and finishing in the attack, as you would with a direct attack, so he's not very effective, I can do what I just did with Jason, I'm going to have to protect myself a little bit more. So instead of going 100% into the attack, I'm going to save a little for this way that's going to shoot out against me. So I start my attack, he's going to displace, so I do my counter attack. I parry, even though I have right of way, and then I finish with my final post. So again, if I do that, I know this is going to be coming out against me, so when I start my attack, I'm going to parry his blade and then make a post. This ensures that I have right of way. But it is a bit risky because I can lose right of way if I try to parry and I don't find his blade. So if I start my attack and he extends and I can't find his blade, he hits me, the counterattack is effective. So you want to make sure that your distance is correct, your positioning for your parry is effective, and your timing is good. Because your opponent using a counterattack is definitely going to try and sneak that touch when you're not ready. So we're first going to explore footwork as a counter time action. Isaac is going to attempt to force a counterattack out of me just by being lazy with his footwork or giving the appearance that he's not ready to finish. And I'm going to explain why it's effective or why it was ineffective and provoking response for me. So again, regardless of the attack, he's going to want to make sure he finishes with or just before his front foot arrives. So we're on guard, and he's going to start to provoke a response from me. Alright, so in this case, he's advancing forward, he's very nonchalant with his footwork. He's standing up a little bit so he doesn't look ready to finish. I'm trying to time him out, and he finishes his attack. So he always says right away. We'll do that one more time. So he's advancing forward. I'm trying to read his timing, and he finishes. Distance is also very much on his side because he's being so casual in his footwork. I don't feel particularly threatened. So I subconsciously am letting him get closer and closer to me. This allows him to finish more easily. If he's more aggressive with his footwork, I'm going to actually try to keep distance. And when he makes his attack, perhaps I've opened the distance so much that, just as you saw here, his finish actually misses the target. So you want to sell the idea and try and keep me close. So he doesn't look like he's very serious. So when I go, this is close enough he can finish and catch me. So again, when you're doing counter time with your footwork, make sure that you are able to reduce the distance just enough so that when they try to counter attack, there's no chance that they can block you out or stop you from finishing. Jason's gonna help us explore counter time using blade work as a means of defending yourself while applying an attack. So again, this is something you would use when you know your opponent has really good timing so that you can stop yourself from being blocked out when you are trying to attack. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how timing can be used against you when you are not ready to attack. 
or if your own timing as an attack is weaker than your opponent's counterattack. So we're going to stand on guard. And Jason is going to attempt to attack me. So the distance is off. And there's the counterattack. So again, remember, if your opponent has really good timing, it's really difficult to force an attack effectively. Now as you can see, Jason was just moving forward. I was very attentive with his tempo, with his distance, so he's not ready to attack. I can hit this place, my target makes it very difficult for him to finish. Now the solution is that he's going to use his blade before he uses his feet to find my blade. So if he's advancing forward, he's going to be ready, parry my counterattack, and catch me. So again, remember, it's your blade first. You can even lunge, but you're going to apply blade work before you hit. So if he's advancing, he knows I'm going to counterattack, he's waiting for it, and then he can take action and parries. So if I were to try to displace, he's going to have to try and find a different line. So if I am a favorite of uh, displacing to the side, rotating out, he knows that he's going to want to finish in a low line because that target's always going to be available. So he's going to start his advance. Here comes the battery man, and there is the repose. So he's finding my blade first before he's finding the target. This is a very important tool because it keeps you safe as the attacker. As you notice, when we opened up and I did a few counterattacks that are all effective, I hit and I displace. Jason adjusted for that, so instead of just doing a direct attack, he's going to attack my blade first, remove that out of the way, and then 